This is our full dresser bag. The most unique thing about this bag is you do not have to unpack the whole thing to get to something that's always in the bottom of the bag when you need it. It's got a two-way zipper. The key is keeping both your zipper handles out here to the left side. So when you're on the road, simply unzip around this way and get to just the bottom of the bag. This bag also expands upwards at the top by unclipping the two side release buckles, expands up another 10 inches for longer trips or more storage. When you get to the hotel room, you do not have to unpack your entire bag to find something or get ready to go out. It opens up all the way. It's compartmentalized so when everything is packed and you get something out of the bottom, everything at the top doesn't fall down on it. The inside insert is made of injection molded plastic so it's very durable and very bendable. It's, it's very sturdy. When mounting this bag to your back seat when you do not have a passenger, also it gives you a very comfortable backrest when you are riding alone. Put your bag on your back seat, wrap your backrest strap around your backrest and snug it up. Your tightening straps for this bag is stored in your rain cover pouch. There are two long straps and two shorter straps. When the bag is on the back seat, you use your short straps. When tightening this bag down when it's on the back seat, simply connect it to one of these bottom D-rings. If you have a quick disconnect luggage rack, you can go in between that and your strut, or you can come around your signal light, go back to the same D-ring and do it on the other side and snug it down you're good to go. When you are riding by yourself and the top section is, is compacted down to lose this excess strap, you want to simply fold these and leave it about this far away from the side release buckle and tuck it underneath your side release buckle and down so it's not out flapping around. Another way to mount this bag is off the luggage rack. If you have a passenger, put it over your backrest strap all the way down to your luggage rack with your two long straps one on each side you want to take your end and go underneath your backrest pad clip to the top d-ring and take your strap and pull it at the same time as you're pulling against the backrest and get all the slack out and hook it to the top d-ring and pull on on your bag as you're snugging it down you want to do this on both sides what that does that allows the bag to stay to stay against the backrest and not let it move back and forth while you're going down the road. Once you have these two straps tied down to keep your bag from shaking left to right, you take your shorter straps and clip to your bottom D-ring. And if you have the quick disconnect luggage rack, you can go down in between here or you can come around your signal lights and clip to the back D-ring and snug it down on each side. That keeps your bag from moving left to right. If you do have a bike with rubber mounted tail lights, signal lights, or for instance, the Softail Heritage Classics uh, with the bags do not have anything to tie to here, what you need to do is clip that here and come forward around your backrest strap and come back and clip to the back D-ring and cinch it down this way on both sides and that keeps your bag from moving left to right. Another nice thing about the full dresser, when you get it off your bike, you do not have to carry it if you don't want to. Undo your Velcro and fold that up against the back. In this hidden pocket here, unzip your zipper and pull out your handle. And the trick to wheeling the full dresser bag is when you kick it over on its back, you want to kick it all the way over and put all your weight on the back of the bag and roll it away.